and welcome to the Old Gods Meadery, where we unite the world through mead. This week's mead is inspired by Mexico. Today, we make papaya mead. Why? Because Mexican papayas are large and girthy. I'm going to start by slicing up these papayas. All right, I peeled them and I took the seeds out. Let's dump in the bucket. Add in a half gallon of water to that. Now go get your 60 pound bucket of honey. We're gonna use three pounds of that today. Add your other half gallon of water to that. Heat and stir, but not too hot. Not like those girthy Mexican fruits. That's too hot. We just wanna warm it up. Like foreplay. Combine the two. Add in your yeast. And a half teaspoon of yeast nutrient. Seal her up. Now shake that thing like how shaky all these jokes are, are shady, or skanky. Airlock, a dab of water, and we're done. Now we wait. All right, it's been a few weeks and we've officially stopped bubbling. You should see a doctor if you have bubbles on your Mexican girthy fruit. Let's rack this mead. Well, Just like what you've been thinking about, this part sucks. Let's siphon this goodness into the carboy. We'll do our best to leave all that gunk at the bottom. That's dead yeast, y'all. Dead girthy fruits. Airlock it again, and we're gonna place it in a cool, dark place. You can make your own huge Mexican fruit jokes from here on out. And then we wait for clarification from the mead and not your jokes. Now that's the same color as the prettiest eyes you've ever seen, isn't it? It's been a few months. It's time to bottle this mead. This part sucks. Four bottles, corked, labeled, batch 105 is complete. Thank you so much for watching batch 105. It all ended this, your papaya mead. I hope you enjoyed all of my um, larger than usual jokes. If you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really apologize. Uh, back to the mead. So this is literally the clearest mead I've ever made. It is incredibly, incredibly clear. I am really happy with it. It is just a really like brilliant yellow. It smells like, 
It smells like papaya. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever had a papaya until I started this journey. Maybe papaya flavored things, but um, an actual fruit itself, pretty good. So uh, let's try it. Wow. I, I speak a lot about like citrus meats being really like refreshing and perfect for spring and summer. This one might top the cake here. Uh, it is incredibly crisp. It's, it's on the drier side. Um, really good like papaya smell. So that affects the taste that's going down. Still getting a little bit of honey. It's the perfect summer mead. I, I, it's perfect for hot weather. No wonder they grow so significantly in Mexico. We did it. We made the perfect summer mead. I hope you're ready. The weather's getting warmer. Next are bikini bodies. Ugh, skull! <laughs>